All right, so I've had a lot of questions and a lot of uh, comments on my videos and stuff about my tunnel box. Um, this is just a rigid tunnel box from Home Depot for 30 bucks. I just wanted to show today how to mount it to your sled. I've had a lot of people ask, well, how do you get that mounted to your sled? So today I'm gonna, add, I'm gonna show you how we mount this tunnel box. Uh, keep your gloves, shovel, tools, shovel handle, ropes, tow ropes, saw, lighter, have water and all sorts of other stuff in here. But today, that's what I'll show you how to do. Mount to this to your sled. I've got another sled over here that I can mount it to, so we'll get at it. All right, so I've got laid out here everything that you need for mounting this to your sled. Uh, we've got a drill with a quarter inch drill bit. Got another drill to drill these three quarter inch screws from the tunnel box inside the tunnel box down into the bar. This is a one inch aluminum bar, just at Home Depot as well. Um, and I've got these carriage bolts. They are one and a half inch by one quarter inch carriage bolts to go from the tunnel up through the bar and then screw them on. And that's how you're gonna be taking on and off your tunnel box is through those bolts. Got a pen here just to mark where I wanna cut that. Got the grinder to be able to cut the bar and some duct tape to make it black because I don't like silver. All right, so first thing first though, we've got the tunnel box here. I'm gonna open it up. And we've got these things in here that it comes with because it's a toolbox. It's cool organizers. You can set those aside, use them in a toolbox somewhere else. So it's also got these two dividers. If you want to keep one in there to divide stuff, you can. I just take everything out because it can fit my shovel handle better without these in here. So I take these out, discard those. The next thing we can do is come in here and take this top piece out because that's just extra space that we don't need to have wasted space in our tunnel box. We want to get as much space as we can out of our box. Just pop that out really easy. Nice tray. Do something with it if you want. But now it gives us a little bit more room inside the tunnel box to fit stuff. So there is the prep for the tunnel box really easy. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is cut our bar. We got to cut two bars and about 14 and a quarter inches. So we come here, make it 14 and a quarter, make a line. And I'm gonna just cut it on the other side, 14 and a quarter. And that's where we're gonna cut the bar off with the grinder because this, that's about how wide we want it to overlap these things just a little bit. So 14 and a quarter just overlaps slightly past those. Okay, so we'll go ahead and cut those now. Okay, we'll put the grinder. There's one side, and we come over this side. I've already pre measured it. Cut. I do like to file off the edges just so they're not sharp. Just gonna make a little file to them. Let's get all the little burr pieces off. Okay, the first thing you can do is this bar is where the light thing comes in here, the light wire. There's a little ridge right there, so we gotta set this down and notch this ridge out so it can sit flat. So what we're gonna do is just draw a little line here, here, about that far. And we're gonna notch that out with the grinder. Okay, so we're just gonna take the grinder and notch this out.
Now, some of you might have better tools to make a notch out of something, but uh, with the limited tools that I've got, I just kind of notch this out and I'll break these out of here now and then clean it up once I get these broken out. And now that I've got this notched out and broken those things out, I just take the file, kind of pull it off. And just to test the fit, see if it works. So that way, that groove goes right in that notch and we can center it. Next thing we'll do is drill two holes right there and there. Do the same thing to the other bar, and then we'll have one, two, ready to go. I just wanted to show you after we got those notched out and breaking out, I just kind of take these little extra pieces here and just kind of work it back and forth until they kind of break off. And then from there, I just file it down. Okay, now we got that notched out, we can set these over here and see how they fit right on there. Nice and easy. Let's flip them right that way. Nice straight edge on this side. So, I just try to center them by eyeball because I'm not that perfect. I don't really care. Close enough. And the next thing we're going to do is drill two holes where those grooves are with our quarter inch drill bit. So, I'm going to drill one, get it through this side. Actually, I should be wearing my glasses, so make sure I put my glasses on. Although it's hard because it's foggy in here. Or my glasses get fogged up because it's cold in here. Okay, so then we do this one. Okay, then I bring it over here, hang it off the edge so that I can drill all the way through it. Okay, I'm gonna take two bolts. I'm gonna test it, make sure it fits. And these just slide in, they're a carriage bolt, just quarter inch, and they just slide right into there like that. This is on top there. Sometimes a little difficult to line up, but that's all right. Okay, so now what we wanna do, now that these are in place and held in place, you're not going to move. Now we drill these two holes here over here. And you do want to get them straight across as best as you can. You don't want them crooked. Mark it. Okay, then we take it off. So we don't want to drill down into the tunnel. Grab our other two bolts, stick them in this side. Okay, actually, I want to clean that up just a little bit real quick. Okay, and hopefully fits in. You didn't miss on drilling. Sometimes you have to kind of wallow it out because if you didn't get the drill bit perfectly straight. Like that one. Oh, see it's just slightly off because it's pretty close. I'll drill that one out and drill that one out a little bit more. It is now I got drill stuff on it, metal. I'm going to clean it up just real quick. Okay, 
there. So I've got these cleaned up and I can just stick these right on top of here. And I just kind of wallowed them out to make them fit good with the drill bit. So they fit nice and easy. Okay, and then I'm going to slide this down in place down here. Okay, and that's going to be about where it's going to mounted, be mounted. I'm going to take my tunnel box and set it on. What I like to do is I like to mount these bars so they're right in line with this thing. That's kind of where it goes. So we're going to slide that up just a little bit. It kind of fits right between those two things there. So if I set it down, it kind of fits there and fits there. Then position it. And then what I do, make sure it doesn't hit the seat. Open it. I'm going to have to move that out just a little bit further. And then I'm going to take the screws and screw right into the box. But before I do that, I don't like the silver and I want to cover up these holes. So I'm just going to put some black duct tape around the whole thing. So it's just a nice black bar. So I'm just going to wrap the duct tape these with duct tape. Wrapped it in duct tape. We kind of notched this back out so it'll fit. Covered up your holes. We're just going to take your drill, drill out the holes again. Okay, so now we got them all done, drilled back out. We can set them back on here. Sometimes it's harder to find that. Okay, got that one. Okay, we're now ready. We've got our uh, bars in place and we're ready to slap this thing on there. So you set this down. Can I get those up out of the way? And you can kind of see how this right here will hit right on that. So you put it to where it's nice and snug on both sides. Make sure you have it centered how you want. And then you just screw down these screws right in the bar with these screws here. And I recommend four screws just so it doesn't pull up easy. So kind of right on the other side of this little bar is where the bar is at. I've just got little self-tapping, self-tapping screws, three-quarter inch self-tappers. Okay, let's make sure this is still lined up good. And I'll put two more in right in the center just for good measure. Okay, now your tunnel box is mounted to the bars and you can take the bars off really easy. Then all you gotta do is, this is the hard part, is lining it back up to these holes when it's on, but it's doable. So you just gotta line each one of them up and put them on. Box mounted on the rails. Just gotta put these screws into here. And they're locking nuts. Sorry, not screws, they're locking nuts. And it's a little tight fit, but we'll get them on. Okay, so we're on the back side now. Just put these bolts on. And these ones are a lot easier to put on because they're not in the way of anything. And then you just take your socket wrench. Make sure you're going the right way. Tighten them down. Now you don't want to tighten them too down and ruin your clips just like anything else. Get 
get them good and snug. Okay, and we'll do the other on the other side. On this side, I can't use the wrench because this is in the way. So use a crescent wrench and tighten each one of these down. I know it's a little bit more of a pain in the butt, but it's not too bad. There you go. Now you've got a kernel box mounted to your sled. Ready to go. Ready to put some rope, gloves, shovels, whatever else you want in there. So tools, take it off if you want. The nice thing is it's just two clips. Never have to worry about frozen zippers, uh, leaking. It's waterproof, it's got a good seal around it. So you got a good seal all the way around. So there you go, that is how you mount your treadle box to your sled.